We'll be doing 9626, the May-June one. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're just going to open up all the files. So if you've got them in front of you, open them up. So guys, if you want to do this as I'm doing it, you can follow along. Okay, so the first one that's opened is the jobs, and this just gives us a job code, job description, it's pretty simple. The other one that we've got is full name, surname, age, job code, place of address, I guess that's address of the venue, yeah. A ski school. Uh, venue code and venue type code. So let's have a look at the first question. Exam examine the venue type data. In fact, manipulate and merge two files. Examine in step 15. So I just need to put in the text one. So I'm going to scroll down and click at the very bottom here. Then I'm going to go to data from text and I'm just going to import this. Okay, so make sure it's important at the very bottom. So I'm important to cell A74. Look at that, beautiful. Right, let's get rid of these two. We don't need them. Now in the question, it says that we don't need to use the age and date of birth. So I'm just going to actually delete this whole column. Okay. So all we should have is forename, surname, jo job code, place of employment, address, address, venue, venue code. All right, so now we can finally start this question properly. Examine the venue type data and use this to create the venue type code for each employee. H for hotel, R for restaurants, S for ski school. The date and age of birth, right, I've done that part. And this is the bit I need to do next. Okay. So to import, you go to data, and then you go from text. Or you can just open up the CSV. Um, yeah, so I've got all of them at the bottom. I now need to find out whether it is going to be S, H, or R. So you can see quite quickly, uh, H, R, and so on. Now, because we're going to be importing these to access, it actually doesn't really matter how we do it. Um, so you could do an if statement, or you could do left. Uh, I think we'll stick, we'll go with left because it's simple. So that one, number of characters is one. And then you just click this and it'll take you all the way down to the bottom. Like that, lovely. Right. Now we can go back to the question paper. How do I know when it's recording? It's definitely not recorded all of this. Let's hope you get the gist. Okay, um, so now we've got hotel, restaurant, ski school, and we can move on to the next question. So now it's asking us to look at the jobs, and we want to create a, ra a relational database normalized to third normal form. So at the moment, we've got venue code, venue type codes, um, venue type and so on. Now we need to decide whether they're dependent on the person. Okay, so at the moment we don't have a primary key because forename can easily be repeated, surname can as well. But I know it's easier to create a sort of um, employee ID inside of Access. So what we'll do is we're going to get rid of all of these because we can tell which venue it is by the venue code. Yeah, because we can see that this is specific to each one. And inside, ah, it's, yeah, inside here, that's our job code. So we need to create another table that has got the, we've got another table that's going to tell us what hotel it is. So, I need to get rid of all of these. 
In fact, I'm going to get rid of all of these. So for now, I'm going to keep the place of employment because I'm going to use that later to work out the place of employment's code. I'm just going to cut this out and I'm going to put it inside a new sheet. Okay. Now I also need to go and grab the place of employment. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this. Ah! I'm going to insert this, sorry. So I've got place of employment, all of the addresses, and so on. Now the other thing I need to do is I need to create an employer employment ID. But at the moment, I've got loads and loads and loads of repeating data. So what you can do is highlight over here, and you can remove duplicates. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So under data, if you go to remove duplicates, Okay, you can remove all of the duplicates. So now we've got 25 unique codes and unique ah, inputs, records remaining. So I'm going to put one here, two here, and then I'm just going to use this to drag it down. So now I've got my employer employment ID. Okay, and I'm going to use this to tell my employer which one they work for. So I'm now going to have employer ID. So now we're going to use a VLOOKUP. Ready? Equals VLOOKUP. This is our lookup value. Hold on. Okay, so we need to find out the employer ID. and We're going to do that by doing a VLOOKUP. That way we don't have any repeating data in here. So this is going to be our VLOOKUP. Okay, our table array is inside this sheet. Now at the moment we're going to have a problem because we've got place of employment on the right and the thing that we actually want to get from it on the left. So we need to swap these round and we can swap them back later. Uh, so, let's cut this, and I'm going to insert it here. So now we can do our VLOOKUP. Oops. So we're using that as our lookup value, and we go in here for our table array. Oh, I didn't press comma first. Okay, now we press comma, go into the other sheet, and there we go. Now we want to keep that, so we use our dollar dollar. Column index, we want the second column, and we want an exact match. Ta-da! So now we're just going to choose a random person to make sure it's correct. So I'm going to go for Elias Winkler, and they've gone for... Elmar Elm. Elmar Elm. So that should give us the number 16. And they've got the number 16, so it's good. Now we need to swap these back, but before I do that, that's going to screw up all of my VLOOKUP. So I'm just going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste it just as the values. So now it will no longer have the VLOOKUP in, and I can do whatever I like in here. So let's cut this, and then insert it here. Inside here, I'm just going to get rid of this now. In fact, I can just delete it. Now, the only other thing that I need to do is, at the moment, we've got a venue type, but we don't know what venue we've got. So I'm going to create another sheet. I know that I've got three venues. We've got venue code, and then venue. So venue code, we've got S, H, and R, which is ski school, hotel and restaurant ah restaurant yeah okay yeah so we're all happy with that now i'm going to save this i'm actually going to save it as an excel document not as a csv and main database file okay so now we go ahead and we open up access
have we stopped recording now? Well, okay. So now we just need to import all of these different field, all these different tables. So we go to external data, and then you go from Excel, browse, go and find wherever you've saved it, and press OK. Now I'm just going to do it sheet by sheet, so the top one first, this is going to be our employees table. Now however you do these ones, they have to be exactly the same in the other tables. So I'm going to change this to integer. integer. Now we go next. And I'm actually going to let access add a primary key for me. We don't often choose this one, but in this case we want it to add it for us so it does an auto number. I'm going to call it employees. Okay. So I haven't got any import errors, so that's all good. I'm just going to close table 1 because we don't need it. And I'm just going to do the same, except this time we're going to go for sheet 1. There we go, sheet 1. Next, table contains headings. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we just want to make sure that they're all in the correct data types. Now the ones that we're linking up, this one here. This has to be in the same format that we just set the other one to, which was integer. So I change it to integer. Choose my own primary key because we've already got one. And now we're going to call this employer address. And I press finish and close. Now the next one. Sheet 2, first row contains headings, short text, yeah, fine. Choose my own primary key, we're going to use the venue code, and we're going to call this venue type. I'm going to press finish, and close. Now the last one is saved as a CSV, which is a text file. So we didn't have to do anything to it, it was already fine, and that's called Elmu Jobs. Okay, I've still got it open, so I need to close it. Okay. Text file. Elmu Jobs. Press OK. First row contains headings. When it comes up with that error, it means it can't save it as this. So we need to go ahead and change it later on. Okay, so by this stage you should have four tables. We need to go through and make sure all of our field names do not have spaces in and all that kind of thing. So job code can become job code. Employer. Place of place employment, I'm going to change it to address employment address to venue type venue code venue type. Okay, keep going, field two. Job description. Job code, capital C. Okay, so they're all done. So we can save them, close all, press save. Um, venue type code. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make, make these relationships. So if we go to database tools and then into relationships, 
and we can add all of these in. Um, this should be pretty obvious which ones should go where because we've made all the names and so in fact my one's a little bit confusing because uh, venue type is going to go onto venue type code Let's create so that could probably be named we could probably name that field a little bit better to be honest uh, job code is going to go to job code we can enforce referential integrity on these all that means is basically that the codes in there have to match up this means that they can be linked in other tables I'll show you exactly what that means in just a second um, so we create that it also means that if I put in a new number in here that doesn't exist in this one it might have a problem with it so it has to exist in this one for it to be able to be a number inside this one uh, employer ID is going to go to employment ID enforce and I think that is it uh, job description yeah job code employer ID place of employment and then venue type code yeah so we can close that save it and now if I go into jobs for example if I click this drop down it gives me everyone that does that job if I go to employer address it's linked it so that every single person that works for that employer comes down in the drop down as you can see next to it it's got their ID full name surname and the job code that they do there um, Venue type is going to have all of the different types of venue that are in there and I can expand that even more and I can see who works for them there as well. Okay, so we're going to close all of these. We're just going to make sure we've done everything on the past paper for now. Uh, so we have to put them into third normal form, which basically means nothing's repeating and it's in a, the most efficient state possible, which I believe that it is. So we can move on. Create a report to identify how many chefs and how many trainee chefs work at each venue. The report must be in tabular format with grid lines and have the venue names and addresses as row headings. Do not include any totals. Uh, usually when you create a report, you need to do a query. If it's asking you to amend or manipulate data in any way, you need to do a query. This one is. It's telling us just select chefs and trainee chefs. So we go back here and we're going to go to create, query design, and we want employees in there because we want their full name, surname, and we're going to take their job code. And it also said we wanted employment address, uh, the full address as well. So we're going to go for uh, full name, surname, job code, uh, place of employment, address. Now inside full name, surname, we leave that blank. The only one we have criteria for is the job code, which was uh, from memory, chef, or trainee chef. And they're the two codes for it as well. I'm going to press run and as you can see all we've got is a chef or trainee chef and then the different hotels with their full addresses okay so we're going to save this I'm going to save it as chef or trainee chef query and now we can make our report so we're going to go to create report wizard and then inside here we want all of those fields so we go next now it does say something specific about the way in which it is organized. Create a report to identify how many chefs work at each venue. So I'm going to organize it by employment address. And then I'm going to organize it by job code. In fact, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to do it by job code, then surname. So what that means is at the top it will have the address. Then it will sort it out by the job code. And then whoever's got that job code sorts it out by their surname okay you can pray, press next on all of this and we're going to modify it straight away because we need it to be tabular now to be honest with you the first time I did this I sat here scratching my head because I couldn't work out how to put in grid lines and that's because you need to go to arrange press control control a so that selects everything and then you'll see that the tabular has become available now if you've already formatted this in any way it kind of sucks because as soon as you click this it screws everything up um, so we need to go ahead and we need to make it look a bit nicer so basically all of these guys can be deleted this guy can be moved all the way across and then delete that one and we can drag that across that's still just over one page again don't need this I'm holding down control and clicking by the way when I'm doing this now can be moved across and we can delete the box that it was in 
Now I'm going to select all of these. I'm holding down control as I click. And all I'm going to do is move them all the way across. There we go. Now I need to move employer address. That's our title across there. And we're going to delete the empty boxes. I think there's still more. No, okay. Okay. So, knowing Cambridge, um, they always want you to have your student ID and everything. So, this is very fiddly. Um, so, we're going to go for chefs and trainee chefs. Okay. Okay. And you can amend that if you want using format. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it white. No, let's not make it white. Um, yeah, that'll do. Okay, uh, I'm also going to put in my student ID, which I don't have because I'm not a student. Um, but I'm going to go for Mr. A and TH for Thailand. Oh, let's just go 999. Okay, so that could be our school code, for example. Um, let's make this guy blue and white as well. Okay, so now we just basically need to have a look. We need to make sure that it looks okay, essentially. So if we go into design and then data view, I've got my place of employment across the top. I've then got the full address. Uh, I can see the full addresses. I think I need to make address employment a little bit bigger. Then we've got job code, surname, and so on. Okay. So I'm going to go back into design view. And I'm just going to make this guy a little bit smaller. Very, very fiddly. I love access so much. And I'm going to make these two just that little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. Uh, ah, grid lines. So if we go back into design view and we go to arrange, if you click on grid lines, you can go top, vertical, bottom, both. I've just applied that to one cell by accident, so you need to press Ctrl A, grid lines, both. Now if you go back into the data sheet view, we've got our grid lines. It said not to have any totals, which we've not got. And we've sorted by job code and then surname. As you can see, that's obviously wrong. C N O C C. So it's the wrong way around. So I just need to go back and amend that. Uh, okay. So I've gone to group and sort by surname with A on top. Oh, it's done it by job code then surname. So that is actually right. Okay. So now I'm going to save this as whatever the mark scheme has asked for. No, it hasn't, so I'm just going to save it as uh, TC or TC report. There we go. So the next one's the theory question, which I'm not going to do. So that should get you top marks until this stage here. And if you have any questions, feel free to either comment if you're in my class on Google Classroom or comment below.